Hey Josh, uh, hi guys, it's Joshua Peterson Electric just giving you guys a video here. Uh, middle of May 2024. Get a lot of phone calls about older homes earlier than 1995, 1990. Uh, put in a brand new 1800 watt microwave, tripping all of my lighting circuit. Um, so guys, that is a dedicated circuit that is needed at 20 amp, 12 gauge, copper, uh, arc fold. If it's within six foot to the edge of the sink, not with the door open, then you may have to GFI it, um, which it might trip with the GFI in my opinion. But keep in mind, it has to be dedicated circuit. So you do have to upgrade. This kitchen had a cross or uh, unfinished basement. So, able to pop up that wall and come up. And just decided to put in a gas plug for him anyways, because I had to dish that up. Uh, the old microwave wire above this plate behind the microwave with the blank in the box. It's the end of the circuit, so unless I want to figure out where that went to, to the switch and then up, I might as well just blank it label it and make sure it's tied off grid with wire nuts it is accessible if you take out two screws on the microwave drilling this is a little tricky gotta have a screw here this one is really tight to the drywall and then one for the cord so triple quadruple check your measurement it has one plate at the bottom with a template that shows you how to do it but yeah if you're popping that breaker uh that's the reason why you got to dedicate that. Now, if you have a two-story house and then your basement's finished and your panel's in the garage and the other side of the house, you got to pipe it on the outside and then pop into the back. There's a townhome on the other side. So we just caulked around each box that we cut in because of the firewall rule. You got to have no air transfer through. Yet the boxes have a lot of air in them, right? Because the knockout on the top, but still less is better on that you probably should foam it too but yeah so fishing that up not too bad uh we mounted the microwave for him um but uh yeah a couple two three hour job by the time you're done if you got to pipe it it might be a half half a day three quarter day to get it around the house otherwise just go back to a vent hood um and find a nice vent hood because they only pull about uh one and a half amp Whereas a microwave of this nature draws 1800 watt, which is a dedicated 15 amp. As the magnetron ages, the current draws more off of that magnetron. So you can, I've had microwaves blow up on me and melt down and they were drawing 30 amps on my amp clamp and uh, the magnetron grounded out in the cavity of the microwave. I used to be an appliance tech 25 years ago. So I used to rebuild these and hang them um, but yeah, that's the thing is you got to dedicate that circuit if your home is old. And if it's shared off of the, the GFI output here, some guys cheat and come up and go over. Yeah, you may not have it turn on the same time as the toaster, but the minute your wife puts a crock pot on there and does bone broth for 13 hours like my wife, you're going to pop that breaker again and again and again. And the more you pop it, the more you're going to wear out and you could hurt your panel. So anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully to help you out on a microwave versus vent hood on pretty much just a small area. This is a two-story house with an unfinished basement. So before they finish their basement and get a permit, I told them you got to get a dedicated circuit to that area. All right, thanks, guys.